In our last program, we looked at the relationship of the Great Pyramid and Washington, D.C. Today, the Vatican and the Great Pyramid. So the place that has the keys, how are they related to the Great Pyramid? Well, first, to look at two amazing brains, you've got the human brain and then the brain, which is the Great Pyramid. And when you overlay them, some amazing connections. The queen's chamber is the temporal lobe. The king's chamber is the thalamus. The pineal gland is the new void chamber, the magnum opus. And the grand gallery is the medulla oblongata, the path to the nervous system. Okay, now what's unique about the Great Pyramid that no other pyramid has is these air shafts, as they're called. Okay, so the southern air shaft pointing to Orion out of the king's chamber. And from the queen's chamber, this is the northern shaft. Now what's interesting about these queen's chamber shafts is that they were unseen or untouched by humans until 1872 when Wayman Dixon gouged into the Queen's Chamber wall and found they existed. And then he found some wood in there, which has just been recently carbon dated because of a long story, which is a video for another day. And it shows that this is that it's been four to 5,000 years since Khufu built this, that wood has been in there. No one's been in this shaft. And what's interesting is there's no evidence in ancient writing specifically mentioning these shafts anywhere, none. Even though the ancient writers of the pyramid have made intimations about several parts of the pyramid, no one ever mentioned these shafts. They were unknown of until 1872, and then when we used 21st century robots to explore them. Okay, so this is so amazing. So here is a, a Google Earth you know, top view of, uh, of Vatican City and uh, St. Peter's Square there. And so uh, the Great Pyramid fits right over it. I mean, when you when you look at these dimensions, which are based on uh, actual dimensions there, actual uh, parts of the of the architecture there, it's 440 royal cubits squared, 230 meters squared. Again, it's the size of the Great Pyramid, and we could talk about the actual uh, architectural features that are on the ground, showing this is not made up. This is there. The Great Pyramid that shape was intended. Okay, so this is a picture from uh, Street View of Google Earth of the obelisk that's the center of that square. That's right. That came from Heliopolis in Egypt, the center of, of the Vatican Square there. And note the lines radiating from this obelisk. Those will become important in a minute. Okay, so remember the air shafts no one ever wrote about before 1872? This square right here this oval, whatever you want to call it, was designed in the 16th century, long before anything was known about the air shafts in the Queen's Chamber. So when you overlay the east view of the Great Pyramid, unbelievable. There's near perfect alignment with the Great Pyramid southern shafts. Look at that, the Queen's Chamber air shaft. And then there's close alignment with, the, oh, I was supposed to say, the northern Queen's Chamber air shaft. So look at that, the northern shaft. Look at these alignments, both of the Queen's Chamber shafts, which were unknown at this time, supposedly. Okay, more revelation. Okay, this shows a second Queen's Chamber South air shaft pointing to the same exit point as the Northern King's Chamber shaft. That's a video for another day. So interesting. So in our last video, I asked this question, you know, the Masons, the Rosicrucians, the Vatican, the Knights Templar, they're supposed to know all these ancient things, these ancient secrets that these organizations have. Like, and so the question becomes, where did they come from? Like, how did the Vatican, where did it get these secrets? Uh, how, how, are they, how did they transmit it? How, you know, how was that picked up? It was designed in the 16th century. Somebody knew it seems, so it seems that these southern and northern air shafts were coming out of the Queen's Chamber. Like, how they, how far does it go? Who started this whole thing? Where did this come from? Okay? Because the, the other possibility, of course, is it was just by chance that those lines were on Vatican City. Okay? So, uh, take your choices here. So, uh, let's look at this. When you overlay the Great Pyramid over the, the, uh, the square here in Vatican City, it also lines up with the five and the six the hexagon and the pentagon. And uh, you can see r right there the king's chamber, which is overlaid, and then the queen's chamber, which is the obelisk. So here we're looking at the Bernini fountain, which is part of the square here. Okay, so look at this. Subterranean secrets. Okay, here's the subterranean chamber, part of the Great Pyramid. All right, so let's overlay 
again, this overlay that, that goes over the, uh, you know, St. Peter's Square here. And notice where, uh, now, now here is a, from a program from ancient architects in which he followed a lot of clues and evidence to say that King Khufu's burial seems to be down. And he gave all kinds of reasons of different things he'd read showing that the burial seems to be where this diagram shows. Okay, so there's the Bernini Fountain. Okay, there's the overlay. And notice the Bernini Fountain is right below the subterranean chamber there. Okay, so let's do a close-up. So here's a close-up. Now we overlay the uh, Great Pyramid. And then here's the, uh, the, from ancient architects, the diagram of all the research he did about where Khufu's buried. And look, it goes right to Bernini's fountain. Again, the question is begged, how was this known? How, how do they know this? Okay, so uh, here's the face, a blow up of the face of the only statue we have of Khufu. And I drew on there some of the lines that exist and then overlaid the Great Pyramid. And it's interesting that the place that we just showed from ancient architects at Khufu's buried comes to his tear duct. Very interesting. All right, so the main point is here, there is some knowledge in the world that's been hidden by some people and it's starting to come to light. You know, if you followed Alan Green, you know that's true. Uh, if you followed Robert Grant and his Da Vinci uh, decryption, you know that's true. People, the light is shining. Are you basking in it? All right, thanks for watching.